Hey, it's me, I know. back here with the Deep Sleep Trilogy with our final game, The Deepest Sleep. You will note that I am back with my old, my old computer, my normal computer, not my laptop. <laughs> uh, meaning I don't have these two files complete. I don't think, it is probably nothing special if you have all three you've done on the same machine. And so it's probably fine. We're gonna move on to The Deepest Sleep now. <clears throat> Hiccuping and clearing my throat at the same time. 2014 indeed, so it does take place the year right after. Or not take place the year after, it takes place right after the second one. We assume, by the way, the last one ended, but it was released the next year. Wowee! Eight years ago, seems like such a long time now. Wonk up that brightness just one t titch. Because we had issues with that before. And I realized, I realized that, uh, I, I didn't show the credits for the other games last time. Zzz. So that wasn't cool of me. Have a look at them now! Very good job, you people did. Are they different for each game? Yeah, I think I think there's a, there are a few different people going on around here. Doing bits of music and assets here and there for old script welder there. Oof, this one still gives me the most chills. This is the title theme. Yeah, there's a little stuff here. Cool. Great! Now you know all the things that went into this game and we can play it now! God, it's so weird to play a game that it, with, with that I only need the mouse for. It just like my this other hand could just be doing whatever, doing a little shadow puppet show on the side. Anyway, we're starting this game now. I should really play more adventure games on the channel. I gotta do, like, the Monkey Island series at some point. <laughs> the, the, the classic adventure game. Yes? Uh, what was Bobby's voice? <laughs> Something stupid, I'm pretty sure. I woke up in the middle of the night. I couldn't move or see anything. Sleep paralysis. In and out of punk. And there was someone in my room. Oh, good heavens. Uh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Is someone there? Oh my god, I can't move. He seems to be looking at me. Can I get out the window? A cold night outside. Alright, well, I'm just suddenly much more calm about this. <laughs> Sorry, I just need about, uh, 15 to 20 seconds for my heart to restart itself. Okay, good, I'll grab that flashlight and... <sighs> Bottle. A sealed vase. A... Shit me! Don't start opening doors before I'm even... What are you doing? And how is this a direct continuation of the last one? I thought the last one we were... Pro why? Hello? Oh, I thought it was a face. Sorry. Let me step back here and see if I miss anything. Could have sworn we weren't uh, anywhere that looked like this last time. I keep seeing the, the, the 4 by 3 bars on the side of the screen and being like, oh, There's a doorway there! Okay! So we're here playing the deepest sleep. <laughs> Sorry. I have it considerably louder than last time because these headphones are not just little earbuds. Oh, I thought that was going to examine these lights because they look very peculiar, but apparently not. Uh, left, forward, or right? What, uh, what are you thinking? <laughs> left. Cool. Uh, it was just a spool of thread. I don't know why it scared me. I think maybe I thought it was someone's entrails hanging from the ceiling. It's fine. It's not. Uh, hello, Bert. I'm sure this gets to you somehow. I, that's such a weird way they say that. I'm sure this note gets to you somehow, but it's just how they said it in the first one as well. So you follow the stupid traveler, even though you knew what's gonna happen. You are at the bottom depth now. There is nothing beneath you. It is important that you avoid the bottom feeders. They sense motion, so don't make any sudden movements near them. Also, don't go to the dark church. <laughs> Side note. Do you think you would want that up, up in front? Don't go to the dark church. The darkness there will suffocate you. Find a ladder. It should take you back to the service. The point was to go deeper until I wake up. Sincerely yourself. So hello, Bert. So if Bert is myself, then I am Bert, not Bobby. Bobby is only my stage name for when I sing live at the karaoke club on Saturdays. Everyone knows my name is actually Bert. I can keep going down this hallway. Hi there. A gem is stuck in the statue's mouth. I'll vase it free. Um, no. <laughs> All right, Bobby. Uh... A red rope coming from the ceiling. It looks like it's, like, in the door. Like, if I open this, there will be problems. Maybe I'll just not do that just yet. What in this supply closet? Ooh, a broom. Oh my god, there could be all kinds of useful stuff here. Um, cans smell like paint. Then they probably are full of paint. A screwdriver, always handy in the situations like these. The bottom feeders. They live at the bottom layer of the realm of dreams, feeding upon everything that ends up there. Even the shadow people fear them. They are blind, but can sense vibrations and movement. By staying perfectly still, you should be safe, I guess. By staying pro oh god, they're gonna have to make me not freak out when I when jump jump scary things happen. It's mordy and stinky. Uh, and they can't smell like paint. Ah, I've got a chisel or a hammer. A lot of paint. I don't know why they need this level of paintage. All right, fine. I'm gonna open the spooky door. Eh, I see no handle or keyhole. Smash it down. I don't see how that could work. You're not using your imagination then. That's cool that they actually have dialogue for if you use a certain item on things that wouldn't work. 
Because before it would just say the normal dialogue piece, and so I wasn't sure if I actually used it or not. A reel with no handle. I guess I already looked at that. Uh, maybe a screwdriver could be a handle if you sort of chunk, chunk it into the side. Bad idea. All right. You're not being very constructive, Bert. We're going in the spooky. Is this the dark church? <laughs> a stone skull. Smash it with a hammer. It's too solid to break like that. I don't see any screws. Smash. Fine. I mean, if it's sealed, surely smashing it would yield whatever is inside. It's just me or does the angle I'm flashing this flashlight at make no sense? No, I guess that makes no sense. Hang on a tick. What was it? What was all back here? This room is dark and, and silent as hell. Uh, shelf is empty. Yet another early lost point, it would seem. Oh wait, cause, sorry, could we go further left from here? Nerp! Can we use one of these new things to pry the gem out of the statue's mouth and then put it in the skull? Like screwdriver! I picked up the gem! Well done, Bert! I knew you had it in you! Da donk! It fits perfectly in the eye hole. I guess I need to! What a bloody shame! Oh, there's a secret passage here. I guess that's what this opens. Cool. And fun. And fun and cool. Then this has got to be to do something, uh, but I've probably already tried all this stuff on it. Oh, wait. <laughs> Silly me. Da dunk. There you are. See, Bert, that wasn't so hard, was it? Is this. Are, are these the peep. Are these the bottom feeders? Are these little insect things? Is, am, am I supposed to be not moving now? Okay, it doesn't appear to. Huh. Is like a metal detector here? Oh no, they're like ancient pillars and stuff. Meh. What did that do? Every time I do anything, I'm just gonna stay still in case. In case the, the bottom feeders are around. I don't know what or where they are. Oh, wait, shoot. Oh, okay. I, I, did I just, huh, uh, put the gem in there then, I guess. Through we go. What is with all the weird flies in here? Um, so if I came from there, then we want to put this in here and then put this in here and then theirs are both. Oh, wait, what? Oh, sorry. This one's blue, not mine. <laughs> no, bring it up. Ah, thank you. Both blue ones. Ah, so they'll be either have both blue ones or both the white ones. Uh, okay. Okay, they're all around this room. Got it. Let me just pick all the gems out of everything first. Uh, wait, the blue one is the one I just came through. Is that right? No, no, no. They were in the white ones just now. So I gotta. Blue is forward. Oh bugger! I need three gems. Do I? It looks that way. Um. Maybe I could just start with these two. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. Um. Give. Thank you. Ah! You missed the hole, Bert! I guess the only way to go back is back for now, then, till I find another one of these things. No chance I could pry, pry these out of the, the, the head again? Hmm. I guess that would close this, wouldn't it? I feel like that's probably where I'm supposed to go, but I, I didn't see a way to get a third gem there. This is not how I was expecting this to go. I was much more expecting this to be, like, a, a direct continu- Darkness has consumed me. Uh, uh, that probably means I did bad, doesn't it? So I'm guessing these are the bottom fears. Wait, so if I spin around, is that what happens there, or did I just spend too long here or something? I was expecting it to be much more like creaky old rooms and stuff like uh, the first one was, although, or the first two were rather, that we may be there at some point. So maybe I just don't do the ones on the pillar, or I do one on the wall, one on the pillar, but not the one above the door? Huh. Oh, there is one above the door. I'm s sorry. Sorry. Cool. And this is some kind of crank that'll be for that, uh, red. Okay, got it. Okay, and now I gotta do it all backwards fast enough that I don't get destroyed. Give it to me! You made the noise! Why did I not do Okay. <laughs> I'm not panicking, you're panicking. Where's the give it to I think those were the bottom feeders. I have a I have a sneaking suspicion that that's what those were about. Get this dumb crank here and install the thing. <laughs> okay, don't sound so proud. Oh, and surely that cranks this door open. Right, okay. It wasn't a trip wire, but just a mechanism for opening the door. Hey there, how you doing? Let me stroke your beard. Magnificent. Alright, let's go. Christ! <laughs> There's no way you could have walked around the water, seriously? <laughs> Bert, it's... Literally, <laughs> you walked out of here and then jumped into the water? Fine, whatever. I see, you just had to do that to scare me. 
Oh. Maybe that's a bottom feeder. <laughs> I don't know which ones are the bottom feeders yet. Were those always there? These little red... red... bits of thread? I could have sworn two seconds ago that wasn't a thing. It looks like we're gonna need another crank, uh, bit to crank then. Oh, wait, cause I... Can I go get the crank back from this thing, by the way? Let me just... Yeah! Can't do that. No. Fine, uh... I just saw- I saw the thread holding the bars up and it looks like we're gonna meet another mechanism like the one that opened the door that will lift this gate up somehow, uh, once getting a crank over. So I figured I could go back and pry the crank off, but... Oh, that's a very hanged skeleton, clowny boy! And or girl! Who knows what the clown's... gender identity is. It is dead, regardless. Uh... Maybe you wanna stand up there so you can breathe again? Hanged with a red rope. Okay. Ah, uh, sidereal uh, plexus corp. Server gate, the lock system. Door up, down, bars up, noose, reel. Hey? So this, this is the same red thread. I don't exactly understand what this is trying to tell me. So is it just telling me that the, the noose will be the thing to lift the bars? If I apply some weight to this poor sucker? What do I just sm- Something growled. What if I just smack it down with a... Okay, fine. Uh, I was thinking a stool would be... But I guess not. Uh, break the things with the... the, the smash it with the... the bah. Uh. Oh, if I... Can I prop... The... I don't see how that could work. Can I prop the door open with... Yeah! Okay, so, so if it... I put the crank again, it closes the door most of the way. The rope goes up here, which means down there, which means the bars that go up, yes? I think that makes sense. Because I can still crawl under there. Huzzah! How about that? Oh, you didn't seem to move, actually. <laughs> oh, the, the way the flashlight actually casts appropriate shadow directions is very, very eerie. Okay, let's get into this. Is there a... Bottom feeder of any description. I've discovered the bottom feeder's crew. Uh, just gonna make a beeline for this door. Oh, that's pretty locked, eh? Okie doke. Uh, I hope it does. Oh, is it getting closer? No, no, it's just, it's just kind of lurking around. All right, I understand what a bottom feeder is now. I'm pretty. Confident, so I can go to the left here, I believe. Just let my bar get up a little. Ooh, lever. Ah! Don't. Oh, it's on a timer. Ah! <laughs> okay, if I make like a really sharp movement, I'll wait for it to get closer to the bottom, but how does it do for me? Oh, God! Oh, that was such a bad idea! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, man! I was almost just a a uh, <sighs> collage of teeth and organs there. Okay, I'll just get my hand on the lever so I am at perfect position to calmly and carefully drift over to the other side the second this thing starts to calm down. Okay, that's reasonably calm. Let's go a little faster there, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> Silent is the grave. I don't feel like I was that stealthy. <sighs> okay, we didn't actually go left from there, though, so I'm gonna have to go back past that thing, aren't I? Sometime soon. This cabinet is empty. This upper drawer is empty. This middle drawer is empty. Bottom drawer is empty. God, you could have just said they're all empty, Bert. <laughs> we keep me waiting. Oh, interesting. This looks like part of a map or something. Oh, you're not gonna take that with you? That looks so important! An upside down craw. Unless it could be almost numbers of some kind. Not sure yet. Ooh, I like the music here. This is cool. Um, so we've we've seen a cabinet very similar to this in uh, the first two, I believe. Oh, there's a mirror in this room. Oh wait, no, I thought that that door was a mirror. Uh, that was weird. Uh, okay, a music box. Maybe the screwdriver can crank it. Um, no. You can at least give it another idea, Bert. You don't have to just have to shut down everything. As it's locked. Okay. Uh, sure, you, you can jimmy a lock or smash it with a. All right. Well, fine. It's a dream. I guess rules are rules. Um. Something in the- oh, hello. Key. Fine. Um, good. For this door, maybe? It was. Uh... Eek. Didn't like the loading time there. 
I, I can't shake the feeling that this is something very, very important. I also can't help but notice that there wasn't anything in the second one, at least that I found. You know, like, in the first one, there was the whole, uh, Cory? Cody can't sleep without, um, his, his pet tiger or whatever. And then the second one, that comes back to be a little optional thing. I didn't see anything in the second one that I thought, we didn't really resolve that kind of thing in the same way that there was that. So, oh. Cripes. This ain't good. Something is blocking it. What do you mean, something is blocking it? The, there's a a, a, a a valve on the on this big stone block that... Uh, what is blocking what? I don't understand. Empty square slots. Oh, interesting. What is that? What? There's a big trap door. Oh, a hatch. Can't reach that. Got it. Okay. At first, uh, Bert just was not in, in any way feeling... Wasn't the clown called Bert? In the second game? The one that was on the wall? Did it say Bert under it, right? I thought it did. Now that I'm thinking about it. Ooh, gasoline! Oh, empty grease can, I see. Uh, nothing interesting, nothing interesting, nothing interesting. Wait, you're not even looking at the names. You just barely looked- you looked at what color the book was. How are you supposed to tell? God, this place is massive. Nothing run by here. Oh god, sorry, I panicked and ran away. Uh, is there anything in there that would be interesting? Oh. A stone tablet, can't reach it. Man, I've got all this junk here. A grease can, a wind-up key? Hello, chair. No, that's the other side of the room. What was I saying before? Something about Bert and the clown. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's- Oh, so much rust. It's stuck. So I guess grease would be for that, if it had any. Looks like we gotta go back the way we came. I, we didn't really fully explore the other part of this thing. Sorry, I know I'm, I'm gibbering all over the place. This is- Oh, wait, wind-up key. Duh -duh -duh. Please don't be scary! I turned it into Silent Hill! What is this? I haven't played Silent Hill, but I bet this is exactly what it's like. Ah, God, so there's a nightmare room in there, which no one wants to be in. Oh, oh I thought it was a face, but it's just a cloak. Why are the doors sheets now? Ex ha! Huh? Is this message say anything different in this world? It doesn't. What is out this way, and can I please go back to normal hill? <laughs> Hello, can I take your arm to use as a blunt instrument for something? Or indeed a lever? Whoa, what was spilling out of the- sorry? Huh? Oh no, it's just the fuzziness. I thought there was like something spilling down the walls. Alright, so this is not cool so far. Oh, did it- I guess all it messed up was that room. Well, I'd kind of like the music box to go back off if it could be arranged because I didn't go to the left yet and explore that. Okay, I guess we're using doing some kind of timing puzzle thing here. That would be very painful. Right, okay. W what do you want me to do about it? Not that, I guess. I almost feel as though I've made a boo-boo by not having done that uh, whole bit on the left side of the, of the bottom feeder yet. Uh, hmm. Oh, these tools seem like they'd probably help me reach that. Huh. Oh, wait, were we here before? What is this? Seems like a lid of some sort. Man, the screwdriver's never useless. Ah, can I disable the mechanism? Hit smash! Uh, jam! Yeah! That'll teach you to try and meet grind me when I'm having a lucid dream. Oh, wait, whoa, what? Were there always two doorways here? I don't know that there were. What? Stone tablet. Oh, Grant. A fat, oily mushroom. Oh, can I get... First, I have to get the oil out of it. I... Psh! Oh god, that actually was the answer. I thought I was gonna need something slightly more scientific. That works for me. Uh, just... Sap this little drill... Yeah, there we go. Now we can, um... Squeakify the... 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 Handles, but I want to see what's going on now that I've stopped with all that mechanism. Presume that was this, yes? Okay. Oh, it's going now really slow? Or it just kind of can't move. All right, cool. I'll just head on through and very bri briskly. Ooh, bloody handprint. Okay, probably someone else got caught in the meat grinder and didn't know the old screwdriver and the clockwork trick. I pity them. There's something, some stinky liquid inside. A full grease can. I guess I can't uh, fill it with that. A cinnamon toast. Rotten meat. Yuck. Uh, a suspicious-looking dried herb. None of which are immediately, uh, inedible, uh, edible, except for the cinnamon toast. A bit old, but still crunchy. I, it's lost in the darkness like me. I wonder how it did end up here. Hello, my toasty friend. Still here? Of course you are still here. Not much more to say about it. A cinnamon toast. 
<laughs> you ate that? Oh my god, Bert, I would never. <laughs> that seems like a terrible... Oh, wait, hang on. Can I go back from this room if that's where I came in? Oh, interesting. I guess all that was here was the second stone tablet then. Perhaps I gotta go get all that junk before it'll let me back um, out of the Silent Hill dimension. Although, this stuff was... The, the tablets and junk were all... Why does it keep loading so long like that? Oh, there's a tablet right beside this person. How has that always been there? I said, has that always been there? I didn't ask for your best hummingbird impression. Cheapers. Ugh. All right, so we've got three or four, so presumably the last one's down in... Oh, wait, hang on. Is this still... Something is blocking it, so that's this is not the problem. It's not rusty, just stuck. Got it, okay. This one, however, is rusty. Whoa, wait, huh? What's this again? Oh, can I get that back? Stuck for good. Well, you served us well, fair screwdriver. Thank you for what you've done. Brink! Oh, this seems dangerous. Why am I going here? <laughs> okay, um, this atmosphere is much more deeper sleep. This is a lot like the second game. Sorry, I just fear burped. I didn't know that doorway would lead me back to this room. Bonk! Okay, um... So, is this just telling me this is blocked? Well, huh? Sorry, I saw something two seconds ago. Right here, right here. Where was that? Huh? Yes? A pile of plates. Okay, good. Are you telling me you can't get over this bus, these stack of boxes? Smash! No, that's not going to do anything, I guess. And I suppose now that this thing is here, I won't be able to get past it. To the next room that I was originally going to try to go. In that case, it sort of stands to reason that there is a stone tablet in here. That I am just missing because they're kind of small. <laughs> but I don't see it. Alright, let's uh, see about getting the heck out of here. Ugh. Okay, if I go back down, is it still there? Apparently. Oh god, I was moving really fast there, what am I doing? Uh, hammer probably doesn't seem like the solution, and the grease can is just evaporated now that <laughs> now that I used it on that uh, hatch. What was in here again? Uh, some greasy mushrooms. Was there a tablet in a wall or anything? I think we already picked it up. There must have been one more tablet uh, in one of these rooms then that I missed thus far. Because it doesn't look like we're getting far down there. I suppose I could try putting the three that we have in there, but that just doesn't seem like the solution. Seems like if they've given us three, the fourth one is around here somewhere, whether I can see it or not. So one of them was in... Uh, Spooky's room over here. One of them was at the end of the meat grinder. And one of them was in the mushroom room, yes? This one right here, there was one lodged in the wall. So it kind of makes it seem like they're all going to be up here and none of them are going to be down... Or wait, was one of them on this ledge? Now I don't know what where I, where I found them. It seems like they're not going to be down here though anyway. That seems like for in a minute when they don't want to block me off from going there story-wise. Well, what the hey, let's put these in here for now. Oh, are we supposed to do make 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 the pattern that was on that uh, that thing which would put make it something like this? Till we find the fourth one that is. What's it like? It's like upside down cross and then telephone pole that goes left, right. So I think I've got it right. Upside down cross, telephone pole that goes left and then right. Got it, okay. So we just need the, la the one that curves to the right. The other T. What's in the oven? A stove seems to be broken. Well, I mean, does anything work down here? Smells bad from there. Is there a place that smells good around here? Yeah, pry open any of those open or smash it open with the hammer. They've still given us the hammer and usually they evaporate things when the second you don't need them. Oh, I can look out from here. Curious, that's the same room as before. Right, oh right, that's right, they, they said there's a stone tablet, but they couldn't reach it, right, okay. And that's what we found on this thing, got it. I feel like the rotten meat might be useful for... Well, I guess it, the, the bottom feeders are more into spirits... ...than actual meat. Because I'm not actually a flesh thing right now, I'm just a, a... ...a little ghosty goo running around dreamland. Why? Does it every now and again just creak like that? Is it something I'm doing to make that happen? I hope not. I'm gonna head back downstairs, but I just, I didn't see not, and... Looks like I'm lost again, folks. I apologize for that. Yeah, you're sure still here. Sure is shooting. Oh! Uh, 
I just yeeted the hammer at those plates, and that you lured the thing over here. Sorry. Whoa. Okay. Stone tablet. I'm going now. Bye. Oof. Ah. Did not expect that. Was I was like I was like well it's my only item. I may as well click it on everything, and then <laughs> just whoosh, threw it at the plates. Well, if they just emptied my inventory, that means surely that I'm I'm getting closer to the end scenario here, right? A chunk that should do it. Oh, that opened the. Can I? Will it creak this down now? The note from me said to God, ah, come on, said to get to a ladder. Okay, go. Oh, can I close that? I guess not. Oh, I can. Sweet. Okay, sweet. <laughs> ah. Oh, I'm a shadow. Is that me? Wait, what? I didn't even get a chance to go outside the door. Now I remember. What do you remember, Bert? Tell us. <laughs> They've got me. You're already one of them? Question mark? All this time, I've been... Screeching unintelligibly. One of them. All this time as in the whole trilogy? I'm a monster. One of them. That seems... Uh, what did that? I mean, that would explain... Why you've lost your comic edge. I've been saying to myself, Oh. Oh no, is that some kind of survivor? Oh no. There he was. A traveler just like me before. The moment he saw me, he started running. My ticket out of here. My chance to finally wake up. Oh no. Well, I'm not gonna... Uh, I, I gotta break the cycle, don't I? I gotta let them go. Otherwise, it's just gonna be people murdering forever and ever. That was a very funny silhouette you had. I hesitated, and I let that man go. This vicious cycle cannot continue. That was what I thought. It will remain here forever. Here, in the deepest sleep. Ah, well, well, they've got cinnamon toast. It can't be that bad. Oh. The deepest sleep. Well done, Bert. You're a braver shadow person than I. Even though it was me who chose it. <laughs> a game by script welder. Very good. Took us uh, less time than the second one. Probably just because I was less stupid. I got lost on the stuff. But you buy this is the first time we've actually had a proper credit sequence because it's the end of the trilogy, I guess. Although I've heard. That there's a fourth one in the make in the mix. So what is there to say of, of, the, of the Deep Sleep trilogy? I think I said it pretty well at the end of the second episode. This is a great series, great mini series that is. Considering how a few people worked on it, it, it feels very uh, very fluid and very consistent, very good. And the, the the way they build lore is interesting. The way it does it does build uh, as it goes on. Like in the first one, it's just like. There's a shadow person, ooh, and the second one is like, this is what happens when you try to lose a dream. Um, and also, pe some people get stuck down here forever and go berserk, like uh, Felicia, was it? <laughs> that charming individual we ran into in, on the attic. That was great. And then in the third one here, it takes that a, a step further and is like, well, how do, how, what are the shadow people and how are the shadow people? How are the shadow people? No, no, everyone asks what are the shadow people, but no one ever asks how are the shadow people. And now I have. Special thanks to all the fans, friends, and my brother for ideas, playtesting, and support. That's right, thanks, Script Welder's brother. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to play the Deep Sleep trilogy without you. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making. Twas good. So I bet you get a different ending if you, if you hack them up. You wake up, um, and uh, and you go about your day with it, with guilt racking your spirit endlessly. I mean, I suppose if you. We'll eventually wake up if you catch someone. It makes more sense for us to trade the responsibility back and forth. Uh, rather than just have like three people bear the burden forever, or however many shadow people there are, I guess probably more than that if they've been recorded since the dawn of humanity or whatever. I don't know. Kind of interesting, there's like that whole ethical question of like, is it okay if you build a society that runs on the torture of one innocent soul? I feel like if this uh, if this was a thing in real life, society would like build it at, into the community. Like it would be like the same thing as like 
community service. <laughs> Go be the shadow person for a, for like a week so that the last person gets a break. What an interesting thought. But uh, yeah, that, that, I mean, I love this kind of game. It, it, like for spooky atmospheric, not too leany on the jump scares. This is probably the jump scariest of them of the three. I like the 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 gameplay choices too. Like if there's ever a, a, a tense moment, it's not like built to be so obtuse that you have to do everything in a perfect order in like exactly three seconds or you die. Like we only ever died once, and that was in this game when I took too long finding that third that last jewel. And they are always adding little fun things like that bit at the end where you're running away from the the deep the bottom feeder, and then the whole bottom feeder system of like if you move it, the the bar goes up, and it's like. But you have to go quickly, so you have to pace moving at a consistent pace with an eye. Anyway, it's cool. It's very cool. So the only criticism I had of the series, really, uh, like, chiefly, was that sometimes it was too damn dark to see anything. Even, like, it, you couldn't, you weren't sure which brightness you were supposed to have it at. I had zero problems with that in this third entry, entry so, um, well done. And what else is there to say? I'm sure I will leave the, the Steam page in the description, or indeed, if I can find it, the original Armor Games pages? I don't know. Because they weren't originally, initially released as a trilogy, or indeed, uh as a, like, an executable that you could download. They were, they were browser games. Perfectly paced for such a thing, I would think. Anyway, the Deep, uh, the Deep Sleep Trilogy is a good what trilogy, and it holds, uh, some, a, a fair amount of sentimental value for me, because I remember enjoying the heck out of watching the first one, when I, you know, but back when I was much too scared to play into that junk myself. That was, like, 2012, which is when Eight Pages was a big thing, I think. So it was that that sort of era of um, of horror game. Is that maybe around the time Amnesia was coming out too? I don't know, but that was it was a good time for horror games anyway. <laughs> Little indie, uh, I guess Nugget makes it sound like it was it's sort of small and difficult to see, whereas these games were somewhat high profile. At least I I, I know people knew about these ones. Slender, obviously. Little indie refined gems, and it was a good time. So I thank you very much for coming around to this good time. The next video going up on the channel is. Misguided. This is also one I recorded um, uh, at the same time I was recording the first two Deep Sleep episodes, so I'm over there with my laptop in that extremely hot closet. And I took a few hours out of my uh, out of my life <laughs> to rank the romance ability of all of the three houses cast, N not the cast, the actual humans, the, the characters. <laughs> and you can see the results of that as the next video that goes up on the channel. And so with that, thank you very much for coming to this video that goes up on the channel. Thus concludes the deep the Deep Sleep trilogy. I think it went pretty well. <laughs> Hopefully I'll see you around. I'm almost gonna be out of here now. Peace! Beautiful art style too. I mean, just so iconic. Which is incredible for how simple it is. Uh, Cody still appears to be... <laughs> sleeping. God, I scared myself with that. Oh, is this a note here? Yoink. Uh, I've existed since the dawn of the human race. Oh, I see.